So we're standing here still on the very long Resident Evil Retribution TV line, and as I said, they brought us lunch. Uh, this is the child size portion, apparently. And the funny thing is, though, is that it has nutritional information on it. And this, uh, this foot has 30 grams of fat. It's one serving size, which is good. You're not supposed to split it up. Um, very low sodium, surprisingly low sodium. No saturated fat. It's very lean. It's the, human is a lean meat, apparently. So we're going to chow down on this. And as soon as uh, looks like Odette Fair is making his way down here, we'll have, some, we'll have some Resident Evil people for you really soon. So I hear you play an evil and a good version of yourself in this movie. Oh, is that what you hear? Yes, that's what I hear. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So, Good. how do you how do you differentiate the two? Oh, I, I don't know. I, I didn't hear. Uh, no, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, uh, that's a good question. You know, it was good. We we uh, kind of shot uh, shot them separately, so it was kind of easy. Uh, Same character. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, I think we all have it in us. Uh, sometimes I'm the good dad. Sometimes I'm the bad dad. Who do you like being? The good or the bad guy? It all depends on what my wife tells me to be. Oh, okay. Do you know what I mean? We yeah. bounce off each other. She's like, you know, okay. Good cop, bad I was cop, just, right? yeah, I was just <laughs> way too nice to the kids. Please slap them around a little bit, but, which we don't do any violence. But I mean, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. Verbally. Yeah, metaphorically. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah. exactly. So, um, you know, it's hard for video game movies to transition uh, to the big screen. But Not to this one. Yes, you're on number five. Why do you think that is? What's, what's I don't know. It's a, it's a great question. I don't know. I think Paul did a, a really uh, phenomenal job in bringing the game to life, uh, but it, not not uh, obviously the the, the storyline is not entirely parallel. But there's all uh, kind of uh, a lot of things from the game mm -hmm. that are in the story, but then the story that is completely independent of it, uh, which I think works really well. I think you know it doesn't take itself too seriously as far as. Uh, you know, uh, deep relationships and things like that, which keeps it a little lighter, a little bit more uh, of a, a kind of a popcorn film. Of, of, uh, you know, there's a lot of people dying in the movie. That's true. You can't, you know, you can't stop and uh, you know, on every one of them. Uh, yeah, it would take the whole you know, movie. Right? You gotta move on. You know, you know what I mean. You gotta gotta move well, sometimes on. Sometimes they come back. Like, hey, my husband just got killed. All right, gotta all right, move on. Keep you know, moving. Keep, yeah. But, so, uh, so I think you know that all works. Well, last question I wanted to ask you is: you you, you broke through. I loved you in the Mummy. You're so great, but unfortunately sometimes it's difficult for foreign actors here in America. How have you navigated the Hollywood system? How have you managed to do that? I try to stay as far away from the Hollywood system as I can possibly well, stay away from it. <laughs> you know, and then there's no navigating. There's just uh, working. Um, I don't know. It's a great question. I, I don't know. I, I feel very blessed. You know, uh, I manage to keep working and I have a great life and I enjoy what I do. I love what I do. It's great. Resident Evil fifth movie. What do you, what's your secret? What do you know? <laughs> I think the secret is Luther West. Oh, nice. You Running around in the tank top. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. No, you know what? It's, it's, uh, the, the video games informs the movies, and the movie now inform the video games. So it's sort of a, it's a, it's a give and take. And, uh, and I think uh, you know, the global fanboys and fangirls have embraced it, and now are, it's taken on a life of its own. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we'll go on and on and on, because in Resident Evil there's really no limits of what you can do. It's post-apocalyptic. Zombies, you know, crazy fight scenes. It's a real scenes. grab it's bag. Epic. Yeah. Yeah. And it, and it caters to our obsession with the afterlife. So it's all packed in one. And, and Mila in the middle of it. Come on. Mila. It's just Mila, really. So you might have noticed that we did not get to talk to Mila Jovovich, Michelle Rodriguez, or director Paul W.S. Anderson. And that's because it was crazy in the TV line today. They had a bunch of studios on one line, and the, the, the TV line was, as I said, way long. And they actually left after only going through about a third of the TV line. And we happened to be on the two-thirds they didn't cover. But they did give us this bag of swag. So let's see what's in it. All right, so uh, we get this cool t-shirt this resident evil t-shirt so as you can see it says 10 years of the virus on the bottom it is an anniversary shirt which is pretty nice 10 years that's pretty impressive for any franchise much less a video game franchise uh so we got that oh there's two oh wait what's this oh and two t-shirts haha when it rains it pours i'll have to wear these on uh, beyond the trailer um this says oh it's an evil dead shirt okay so this is the new evil dead shirt uh, it's got that cool logo. They also have a poster of this up at Comic-Con. And then it says, um, in theater, spring 2013. So, two for one. All right. Then, um, I guess they're linked. Oh, this is a whole bunch of different stuff. And we, oh, we got um, unscented hand sanitizer for Resident Evil, uh, complete with uh, virus beads. 
I'm going to use it anyway. It says it's, it says it's a sanitizer, unless, it, unless this is how the Umbrella Corporation gets you. And then the last thing, which is kind of cool, are uh, carry matches, which is nice. As, as you might recall, so uh, Carrie lights is, is infamous for lighting her school prom on fire. And so, uh, but don't do that with these. And this has uh, the name Chloe, uh, Chloe Grace Moretz on it, who plays Carrie, and Julianne Moore, who will be playing her mother. Uh, and then on the back it says, in theater spring 2013. And then, oh, if you care to hashtag some theories on what happened to Carrie. So Screen Gems took care of us. They were nice.